He's the son of the Buckeye Bullet, and he's achieving arguably more than his dad did in NASCAR. Now let's take a look at Ryan Blaney's nationwide ride. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest diecast review here on Team Bomber Sports, where this week we're looking at a car that I've been really looking forward to getting my hands on this year. It's the discount tyre Penske Racing number 22 Ford Mustang, but it's not Brad Keselowski's car. You know me, I'm not a particularly big fan of the Cuppies in Nationwide. This one is Ryan Blaney's car. And to be honest, surely this is the diecast that people want to be getting from this year, because Brad Keselowski's won a lot of Nationwide races this year, but... Um, uh, Spring Cup driver wins race in lower division full of drivers not as good as him. Yeah, that's not as interesting a story as the son of an ex-Spring Cup driver coming up through the ranks and really making a name for himself beating said Cup stars in both trucks and Nationwide this season. Last season he really made an impact, he got his first truck victory and he ran a bunch of Nationwide races. This season he famously beat Kyle Busch at Bristol on his home turf causing a bit of a, give it a, bit of a strop. How dare these Nationwide drivers dare beat me in their own race. But uh, it certainly put Ryan Blaney on the map. He then cemented his position with a huge, hugely exciting battle at Mossport in the Truck Series. Let's look at the car today. It is a very nice car. It is, once again, Lionel doing very good stuff with their nationwide models lately. They've certainly... seems weird that they're doing those better than the Spring Cup models lately. But uh, it, it's the truth. Uh, the Mustang certainly looks very good this season. And... Uh, well, the Discount Tire 22 scheme hasn't really changed. I had a model of it in 2010 when I believe Brad Keselowski was just a, a mere nipper. Uh, it was on the old, it was when they were running dodges, and the scheme is essentially the same as it ever was there. So it, it's kind of red, black, mostly white, and lying around. Fairly simple scheme. Let's take a spin round. There you go, there's the side. The very attractive Mustang rear end. Look at that booty. Uh, along the side. Now, just a quick point on the side, it's kind of hard to tell whether, at first, I thought this was a callback to the sort of raced version diecast. If you look down the side, it's kind of hard to tell, really. I believe it's just a design thing where it goes across the 22. You see these two lines here, ignore my massive finger, that they sort of go along the body like that, and it's a marking. It's to show the sort of door frame and, and framework on the car, but it goes over the number, and at first, it genuinely looks like the sort of marks you get on a race car when it's hit the wall. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it kind of reminded me of the old die casts I used to get where they did have sort of tyre marks and kind of grinds in the paint and everything and I thought they looked really cool. And there of course is the distinctive Mustang front end which not many people have seen so far this season in the Nationwide Series because they've not been ahead of him. Or they've seen that in their rearview mirrors before being overtaken. Let's go back round to the front and there we go. It's very, as I say, a very simple but effective paint scheme. It, Paint schemes these days are generally going in two different directions. One, they're going hugely kind of overcomplicated, a lot of garish designs and flash and all over the place. Or they're just boiling it down and keeping it very simple. One or two main colours, a few little bits here and there, and that's it. And this is certainly in the latter case. And I think it works quite well. It stands out almost from the crowd. And it's almost been sort of the uh, the, the yin to Carl Busch's yang in terms of you've got the white car here and then the mostly black car of Carl Busch's 54. Incidentally, if anyone can comment below and tell me, why isn't there a die cast of the number 54? I've no idea why, I mean, Kurt Busch's 2012 one, where he won Richmond, that's a die cast, but apparently, otherwise not, which seems very strange to me. But uh, if I'm wrong on that, please point it out, please uh, put a link down to where I can find one in the comments below. Uh, whether I'll be able to find one in time for the Race Gear 200 coming up at the end of November remains to be seen, but I'll do my best. Incidentally, the field is nearly set for that. You'll notice that my die cast reviews lately are having a bit of a nationwide leaning to them. Basically, I'm reviewing the field for the Race Gear 200 in the lead up to the race coming up at the end of November in association with Race Gear UK, which all my diecast reviews are in association with. Great bunch of guys, and of course, you can get 15% off every diecast order you do with them by quoting Team Bomber Sports in your order. And here is definitely a car you should get from them because it's a really nice model. And as I say, the fact that it is Ryan Blaney's car, I mean, you could just get the Brad Keselowski one, which has been fairly popular, but I think the Ryan Blaney one has a little bit of exclusivity to it. As we know, it's going to be going cup racing next season, partial schedule. He's a rising star. He's really coming up through the ranks. I believe he's a future star. He's going to do big things. So I believe it may be kind of neater from a collector's point of view to get Blaney's number 22 this year rather than Brad Keselowski. I mean, nothing against Keselowski, obviously, very good driver. I'm just thinking... You know, he's just one of many copies in Nationwide. 
Ryan Blaney, is, you're, you're almost owning a bit of history here with this car because you're owning the car that really sort of saw him kind of have a breakout season in 2014 in the Nationwide and Truck Series. So I think that's why I would recommend this car over Brad's number 22. So this has been my diecast view of Ryan Blaney's number 22 discount tyre Penske Racing Ford Mustang in the Nationwide Series. Subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever you want. I'll, uh, I'll see you on Friday for more videos and I'll see you over on Bomber Sports Gaming which is my new gaming channel set up for all my video game playing stuff. I'm currently over there. I'm playing Grid Auto Sport, uh, some old Toka 2 PlayStation 1 games. I'll be playing F1 2013 and 14, NASCAR 14, which I'm dreading. The finale of my Days of Thunder series will be over there. And go and subscribe to that. The link will be below. Stay tuned to Team Bomber Sports for more exciting stuff coming up, including the Race Gear 200 stop motion. And incidentally, thank you for the great response I've had for the V8 Supercar London Super Sprint stop motion. Thanks for all your support on that, that was absolutely great, and I'll see you soon. Yeah.